Good morning boys and girls, this is Sean, just wanted to say hi, and here I'm going to talk about something other than Batman for once. There is another franchise that holds a special place in my heart, and that is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Into each generation, a slayer is born. One girl in all the world. A chosen one. One born with the strength and skill to fight the vampires, to stop the spread of their evil and the swell of their numbers. It's a great coming of age story. It just happens to have a lot of vampires, witches, and werewolves thrown in. It's funny, it's sexy, it's action packed, and it was so smartly written that it still holds up today. During the show's run, Dark Horse published a Buffy the Vampire Slayer comic book, and it had a few spin off series, the main series running for 63 issues, and could be seen as a companion to the TV series. Here we had a strong female protagonist, who felt real and vulnerable, despite the fact that she had superpowers. And to this day, it does remain one of my favorite franchises. 